We are about to set off on a journey of discovery and we would love you to join us. We're going to be talking about driving, smart motorways and how motorways have changed in the last few years. And this is the first time Susie and I have worked together in quite a while, so we'll also take this opportunity to wax lyrical about yesteryear and reminisce about the past. So hop in, buckle up and enjoy the ride. But before we hit the road, we've arranged to have a chat with Traffic Officer Siobhan. We're heading to a stretch of smart motorway now, but what are the differences between smart motorways and traditional ones? So the first thing you'll notice is the variable speed limits. That's to help ease congestion and keep the motorway flowing. More recently, we've been converting the hard shoulder into a running lane, just keep the motorways flowing. In conjunction with that, we've got a whole network of technology and people that monitor it, setting signs and signals, monitoring the SOS phones, and making sure that everybody is as safe as they possibly can be. Well, thanks, Siobhan. We'll look out for all of those on our journey. Yep. All right, ready? Thank you. He's got the keys. Uh, I thought you had it. Yeah. Road tripping. Oh, very ah. excited about this road trip. So am I. Oh, just one thing before we go. Mm -hmm. Have a look in the back. It's little versions of us, virtual oh, us. Yeah. What are they for? Uh, when we're discussing things that we can't film safely, yeah. they will take over. <gasps> and I like the way they've made me look younger. Yeah, I've got to have words about that. I've made your favourite ABBA driving playlist for the trip. It's funny you should say that because you can't use the word favourite and ABBA in the same sentence. You're the only person in the whole world that doesn't like ABBA. Are you serious? I no, I can't be the only person that doesn't like ABBA. Now, so you want, we're getting onto the motorway. There are few things worse than being at a standstill stuck in traffic. And that's where variable speed limits are really good because what they do is they keep traffic moving. They keep that flow going, albeit at a slower speed. Sensors monitor traffic flow and the smart motorway system automatically responds by changing the speed limit. This means the system can pick up early indications of a queue forming and display a speed limit upstream which can effectively prevent or delay the onset of a queue. Hey Susie, look. This, we're now on an all-lane running motorway just like Siobhan talked about. So along this route we'll get to see an emergency area and the signs and signals that she described. Yeah, so the traditional hard shoulder is no longer a hard shoulder. Yeah. We can, we're in it we're now. We're in it. Look at that. Might as well use it. Some smart motorways are like this one, with the hard shoulder permanently converted to a traffic lane. Some use the hard shoulder as a running lane at busy times to ease congestion. You can only drive in it if the signs show it's open to traffic. If a red X is displayed, it means the lane is closed to traffic, usually due to a broken down vehicle or accident. You must not drive in a lane showing a red X. It's illegal, could be dangerous, and you could also be fined by the police. Stopped vehicle detection is currently being rolled out as one of the latest bits of technology to be added to motorway upgrades. Radar is used to detect individual stopped vehicles, typically within 20 seconds. This alerts control teams and means they can get help on the way even quicker. This is in addition to a system already in place called Midas, that uses sensors to monitor traffic volumes and automatically turns on signs and signals when the motorway becomes busier. Have you ever broken down on the motorway? You have. What happened? It was a puncture in a hire car, but it was the depths of winter. It was freezing, there was snow on the ground, and then I ended up getting flu. If your vehicle has a problem or you get into trouble on the motorway, stay calm and try to exit at the next junction or motorway service area. If that's not possible, where you can, go left, get safe and get help. 
You should go left into an emergency area, hard shoulder, left hand verge or A road layby. Switch your hazard warning lights on and if it's dark, use side lights and fog lights in poor visibility. Get safe. It might be safer to stay in your vehicle and wait for help rather than get out. If you decide it's safer to leave and you can get out with any passengers, exit on the furthest side from the traffic. Get behind a safety barrier where there is one. If your car stops unexpectedly and it isn't safe to get out, keep your seatbelt and hazard lights on and call 999 immediately. When you broke down, Susie, were you able to use a, a safe area or, or hard shoulder? Well, yeah, because I felt the puncture going. I felt yeah. the car sort of starts to weave, doesn't it? And I got onto the hard shoulder and then I left. There's a, there's a proper emergency oh, area. Oh, yes. There wasn't one of those right. years ago. I had to pull over on the hard shoulder, leave the car there, which looking back feels a bit precarious, and climb up the bank and sit on the bank. On smart motorways, there are emergency areas which offer a place to stop in an emergency if you can't exit the motorway or stop at a motorway service area. They are marked by blue signs featuring an SOS telephone symbol. Each emergency area is coloured orange and has plenty of room for even the biggest lorry plus a recovery vehicle. They are positioned at regular intervals so there is somewhere safe to stop approximately every mile and they have telephone lines linked directly to our control rooms. If you stop in an emergency area, it's important that you use the phone there so that National Highways can get you the right help and give you advice on how to exit safely. A traffic lane may need to be closed so that you can rejoin the carriageway safely. National highways use cameras to monitor traffic when there's a problem. They enable operators to view the carriageway so that staff in the control centres can check on traffic flow and provide support during incidents. And it's one of these control centres that Susie and I are visiting today. Are you looking forward to this? I am so looking forward to this. I like a control centre. Yeah, OK, don't touch anything. I'm not going to touch anything, I'm just going to look at the screens. OK, good. When you walk in a room like this, don't you always think, what's everybody doing? <laughs> yeah. So, Sean, can you tell us exactly what your role is here? Certainly. I'm a control room team manager. And this is where we deal with accidents, incidents and congestion. We monitor the cameras, we monitor the smart motorways, we monitor the signs and signals. We liaise with uh, the emergency services, so police, fire, ambulance. We deal with everything from traffic congestion to broken down vehicles, accidents, incidents. And we deploy our traffic officers. So what are the main issues that the traffic officers are dealing with? Four million vehicles use the strategic road network every single day. And every year we deal with 85,000 broken down vehicles. Now, when you think about it, more than 40% of those have got simple mechanical failure through loss of oil, loss of fuel. And a lot of these are very avoidable just with a few simple checks like fuel, tires and oil. So where does the magic happen? Follow me and I shall show you. So that's CCTV. Okay, and as you can see, we can see all of the motorway network in that form there. So can we have a look at something that's happening right now? We certainly can, actually. We've got an incident now, junction two to three on the M3 southbound. Oh, wow. We've got two vehicles and they're stopped in lanes uh, two and three at the moment. Mm. We've implemented red X's on lanes four, three and two. So you've got traffic passing slowly at the moment due to the variable speeds that we've implemented oh, as so well in lane down one. To one lane. That's right, yes, yeah. and that's why you haven't got traffic in lanes 432 because of the red X's. So as long as everyone is complying with that, we've made the scene a lot safer. And, oh look, guys, help's arrived. Okay, so we've got two of our traffic officer units. We've come down the M3 now. The first unit has implemented a rolling block and they've stopped traffic. The second unit has come down and is assessing, looks like it's a broken down car. We're going to make sure that the wheels roll and if they do, if the car is immobilised, we're just going to hook it up and we'll drag it to the nearest EA bay and get it out the carriageway and we'll get all the lanes running again. 
Sean, I can see you've got your hands full here, so mm -hmm. thank you for your time. We'll get going. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Also, I don't want him to press any buttons. <laughs> It's I've done all right. I did all right. It's quite a setup in there, isn't it? It's mm. it's really impressive. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Right. Yes. Where are we off to? Ah, well. Are you... <laughs> What's that sparkle? Where are we going? I thought I'd take you for a little treat. Oh, I like treats. Yes, yes, please. Do you want to know what it is? Well, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to take you for some afternoon tea. <gasps> somewhere utterly divine. Excellent. I like divine. It's exciting to go on a road trip again. Yes! Yeah. Although, did we have a road trip road trip in the past? I remember when we did share a car sometimes, if it was an early call time, you wouldn't even speak a word before nine o'clock in the morning. In fact, you were positively mardy. I hadn't, I hadn't woken up yet. It takes me a while to warm up. And then when you warmed up, there was no there stopping you. Go, there you go, there you go. Oh, this is our turning. Ah, oh, nice. Well, thank you, Susie, for mm -hmm. doing all the driving. That's a pleasure. It has actually been really nice to spend the day with you again. Yeah, likewise. Really nice road trip. Um, and mm -hmm. I think uh, almost equally as importantly, we have learnt about driving on some of the new motorway setup as well. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. We should celebrate. We should celebrate. With a scone. What? A scone. 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 Oh no, how do you put your cream and jam? Cornish way, jam, cream. No, that's upside down. At least there's one thing that we can agree on. Yes. We both know what a smart motorway is. Yes, so have my scone, please. Scone. My scone. There are no scones 